A. While I wait impatiently for the WTC lists to be released, I can go through my backlog of uh, to do. Um, so I've received a few, couple of emails from newer ish subscribers, newer ish, um, not newer ish players, but, but people who have recently found my channel and are just getting into the competitive ish sort of vibe of what I do here. And, um, the first one is from Ed of Ed Scar's YouTube channel. Link is in the description, um, where he paints minis and talks about miniatures, sort of like this, except not as competitive. Ed describes himself as a casual player who would rather be having a laugh during a game than holding a trophy. Um, so let's see what he is thinking of bringing to an event that he's going to. This is it. US reinforced, eight order dice, 750 points. Eight order dice is, is not high. It's in the low end of competitive 750 lists. Um, some lists will be in the 10 order dice range and that will be competitive edge, right? So um, you might be out diced in some respects, uh, depending on, on the event you're going to and how that all plays out, what, what you're how other people are, if, if there's a dice cab or whatever. Um, but it's not that massively bad either. US reinforced, I think Americans are a good way to go if you're just getting into going to events. If it, Americans are uh, a good starter army, they are a very strong competitive army as well. Um, you can absolutely win tournaments with Americans, um, has been done. Go look at my interview with Danny. Um, so, yeah. I don't agree with the veteran second lieutenant, though. Three-man veteran. That's a lot of points you're sinking into that one dude. For a third, you could get a single inexperienced lieutenant. And I don't think that that will be worth it. Uh, I understand that there may be other concerns making you take that veteran lieutenant um but points for value it is not worth it um you simply you can't get enough out of him um you might want to consider if you're running a three-man team which i've seen danny do sometimes uh, running one of them with a rifle and one of them with a submachine gun the last one you can sort of decide which one you want to take because that gives you range and a lot more punch at close range as well so there is a, uh, a build there veteran u.s marines again with the veterans i think at 750 points veterans is a luxury that you possibly cannot afford um you're spending over 300 points on your lieutenant and two marine squads that's a lot of your points being sunk into this um and having that many submachine guns and shotguns that you're doing that because you painted the models aren't you because it's Definitely not anything that's competitive at all. Americans do really well with rifles because of their uh, national special rules, the move and fire special rules. Um, so having one unit that is very, very good in close up, uh, in, in assault range um, is okay for Americans, but it's not where they're really good. The second unit here of veterans is though perfectly set up. It's a seven man unit, two BARs, five riflemen, perfect setup of an American unit. Uh, I would suggest that the Marines need to be set up in a different way um, if you want to run them competitively. If you're just going with, I've just painted these models, I want to feel them, and or uh, a US Marine squad had so and so many shotguns, perfectly fine. That is other considerations here I give competitive uh, advice so so for me the lieutenant and the u.s marine squad needs to be set up differently that would save you a lot of points and make them better chaplain again uh he is okay um he doesn't do much and almost never does anything real but he does uh, allow you to bring a very cheap order dice um, I think you could do one better though, bringing the uh, 
the uh, War Dog, the US Marine Corps War Dog, would actually be cheaper and way more beneficial. <clears throat> more infantry squads. Again, a good skirmisher squad here, veteran infantry, a veteran paratrooper squad with stubborn and a light machine gun. Um, Ed already noted down that he knows that the light machine gun is, is no good, um, but he's bringing it because he just painted it. Valid reason. Um, we all know that painted models, especially recently painted models, do way better on the tabletop, so that's a plus one. Um, this is a, a backline holder unit that's very, very survivable. Um, the BARs here in this is again a skirmisher unit that can push up into the center of the board. So all in all, lots of points being sunk into infantry, some of them being sunk into infantry, small teams that are not very efficient. A sniper team, veteran, that's always good, very survivable, and a Stuart light tank. Um, veteran, so the gyro stabilized version. I would personally never run a Stuart like this, not ever. I don't think the gyro stabilizer is worth it, points for value, because it's still just a light anti tank gun. Most of the tanks you're going up against will just shrug that off. Um, you will hit more, and because you don't have the the LMGs on it, you, you won't be accused of cheating or cheesing out. Um, it's just, it's it's not worth the points. Um, it's still vulnerable. It's, uh, I think, uh, if you want to run something other than a darker Stuart, and you want to spend that amount of points, I think a Chaffee would actually be beneficial. That would also give you some anti-tank, much needed anti-tank capability because you don't have a bazooka in this list. So yeah, that would be my feedback. And Chaffee, go with that here. No re no reason to take a steward. Uh, the Chaffee costs about the same and it's way better uh, at hunting enemy armor if that's what you wanted to do. So thank you, Ed, uh, for the long write-up. I did read it all. It was very enjoyable. Um, although I'm, I won't bother the viewers here with, with all you wrote. It, it was very enjoyable hearing from you and hearing what it is that you do. And um, so go and check out Ed's channel if uh, you're all at all interested in uh, model painting. Link in the description. Right. Now, the second email I got, that was from um who was it from it was from anthony so and anthony is in australia let's just uh, here we go to there yep so he writes that he's bringing italians to events this year and he's building a thousand point Italian list based on the case blue national special rules as some of the new units as well. I like that. That is one of the things that I think will be uh, quite effectful going forward, um, possibly into a, a version three of the rules that rumors say may be coming at some point. Um, so I think Italians, because they're, they've gotten these new special rules, could be one of the things that could compete. The platoon he's building here, uh, Anthony, is a thousand points, so 999, 14 order dice, good order dice count for that. An inexperienced second lieutenant with an SMG and a buddy. Um, yeah, if you have the points, take that buddy. Yeah. And then four regular M Battalion black shirt units with nine men in each, so 999 points per squad. If you don't know these, these are regulars with a uh, tough fighter, and because of the Case Blue National rules, they can take Fnatic on top of that. So they're Fnatic tough fighters, the dream combo. They're pretty cheap, but you need them in large blobs because they're just regulars. So they are a good assault unit. Um, they make Italians into something approaching Japanese basically. Um, you still have one problem though, and that is actually getting them to connect because they don't, unlike the Japanese, have a banzai. So getting to them to shrug off pins and charge, that is going to be a little tricky, but 
with practice, I think you can do it. A regular anti-tank rifle team, yes, you need that for Italians because you haven't really got access to that many Panzerfausts and, and other good anti-tank uh, weapons. A regular flamethrower team, uh, yes, also, definitely need it. A regular medium mortar with a spotter, uh, I run mine without inexperience, but yeah, sure. A regular Modelo 37, that's a medium anti-tank gun. Um, it can, it's versatile, so it's a medium anti-tank gun and a light howitzer, which makes, okay, that I understand. At 80 points though, it's expensive for a medium, for a light howitzer. And most of the time you're not using the medium anti-tank gun for anything. I'm not, this is one of the, the units that I'm on the fence about. I'm not sure it's worth it, points for value. Um, it does deliver some very needed anti-tank capability in this list, but it's fixed, so it's go going to sit there and the enemy's not going to drive in front of it, if they can avoid it. So, depending on your terrain setup, it might be worth it, might not. A veteran Sahariana, yes, this is definitely worth it, with MMG and light autocannon. I think you can even buy extra MMGs, and if you can, Let's find the points and do so, um, because this is a darker, darker vehicle. It's a darker tank. Um, it is soft-skinned, as I remember it, and open-topped, but it's got a light autocannon. And with the new Italian rules, that light autocannon can re-roll to penetrate armor. Perfect. That is so good. That's also why I think that you possibly could even downgrade your um, versatile AT gun down to a bow force and auto cannon because you get to reroll. Um, so if you want to lock down a line, I think the auto cannon is way more worth it. And a darker tank, the M15 40/42, uh, always worth it. Let's just do it. Uh, inexperienced horse limber, eight points. Yep, you could save four points and take a mule. Um, two regular trucks with MMGs. Uh, these, what are you going to transport? Well, the flamethrower team goes in one. What else? Black shirts? But why would you? I don't know. I think you could save points here. Let's see, the flamethrower team will ride in one of the trucks to support. Yeah, I think you would be, uh, you, you could get away with just giving the, um, the flamethrower team a small car like like a, uh, a Fiat. Um, the trucks here are not needed unless you're going to run a unit of engineers. So I think you could save points there and buy something else for that for those trucks. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe an armored car of some sort. No, the Sahariana is the armored car. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. What would you buy? Let us know in the comments. Um, yeah, I, I would get rid of these trucks. I don't see a reason to have them. They're going to die once they deliver the black shirts. If they're just, just going to be delivery system for those, take them inexperienced without MMGs. Um, if they're going to be backline MMGs, then 54 points is actually too expensive for that. So. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to be used for. Right, so that was it from me today. Two lists, and I eagerly await the WTC lists for us to go over together. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.